Evo may be tiny, just over an inch, but it's packed with technology to help you create. On the bottom of Evo, between its wheels, there are optical sensors. The sensors toward the front of the bot help Evo follow lines you draw. And the color sensor in the center sees colors so you can communicate to Evo what you'd like it to do with color codes. You can also program Evo's LED lights. It has one on top and five on the front. When you're programming with color codes, Evo will display the colors it reads with its lights. When you're programming with Ozobot Blockly, you can customize Evo's light colors using light effects blocks. You can even program Evo to play sounds in Ozobot Blockly. Evo's speaker is between the front proximity sensors. On top of Evo, you'll find the motherboard, the part that brings your creations to life. It receives data from Evo's parts and tells Evo to execute your commands. Evo's Bluetooth antenna allows the bot to connect to your devices to receive programs from Ozobot Blockly. Finally, these are Evo's infrared proximity sensors. That just means that it sends out light that can't be seen by the human eye to let Evo know if something is nearby. Evo has two proximity sensors on the front and two on the back. You can program Evo using these proximity sensors. For example, you can tell Evo to stop if it detects something in front or to move faster if it detects something behind it. 